Has anybody got any special requests for what you would like to do this afternoon? I received from my teachers conflicting information about uh, in answer to the question, did F.M. Alexander work with people on the table? Oh, yes, yes. This is a very good question because, you know, I spend my life trying to get rid of the myths about Alexander. Things that, yeah, things that aren't true. Uh, he certainly worked. He didn't have a table in his teaching room. But his assistants used to take the people, after they'd had a lesson from him, take them on the table. And in the first training course, he spent hour after hour after hour, day after day after day, teaching us how to do it. Exactly how to give a lying down turn. So he thought it was very important. I know some teachers say that he didn't approve of it, not true. He said it was a wonderful opportunity for people when they were lying down to, to pay attention to their orders. They didn't have to bother about keeping their equilibrium or their balance. And um, so he, he thoroughly approved of it or he wouldn't have taught us how to do it. Um, very often I heard that um, from Alexander teachers that a table lesson has to be at the end of a lesson. And I don't, um, and what I, I heard also that Alexander said sometimes um, that it's important to work with somebody, that this person has to be in a relaxed mood. So for me it's a question if it's sensible sometimes to work with a person at the beginning of a lesson on a table, or what do you think about that? I don't think it makes any difference, actually. I always like to make them work in the chair first, or standing, or whatever, and then give them the nice bit at the end. My husband did it the other way around. He always gave them the lying down turn first. It's your choice. It doesn't matter, I don't think. Yep. Is this one on? Yes, now it's on. I would like to know uh, whether FM would work in the squat on the floor. Would he teach you to, if you didn't have a table, to do the same kind of work on the floor? Oh, yes. We had one table at Ashley Place, and there were a lot of us all teaching, and we had to take everybody on the floor. And it was wonderful for our legs, because we had to go down into a deep, squat to take the head and then when you wanted to take the arms and the legs you went down on one knee and it was very good for our backs as well very hard work though you know if we were taking six or eight pupils in a day I couldn't do it now I really couldn't I really couldn't Any more questions? Marjorie? Yep. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes. Uh, oh, hello. <laughs> could you tell us about working against the board? Oh, yes, yes. Now, this is a thing that um, Alexander taught us in the first training course, and it's very, very useful. Um, I'll have to go up against the wall to show you. It's standing with your heels about three or four inches from the wall, and then you take the pupil back to the wall, giving their orders all the time, and then you get them to bend the knees. It's now used as a pre-ski exercise. I don't think the people who use it know where it came from, but it was pure F.M. Alexander. Walter Carrington thought it was Bill who invented it, because he talks about it in his book. It wasn't, it was F.M. I'm just putting you right on the things that, you know, the errors that have crept in. So you get them to bend the knees, which brings them down the wall. And inevitably, as you do that, so the lower part of the back goes back against the wall. You haven't got to force the back back, but everything in this work is indirect, you see. It's no good going directly for what you want. 
So you stay there a little while with your knees bent. And the tricky bit is when you start to straighten the knees, because the tendency then is to pull the back in again. You don't have to try and keep it back, but um, have that idea that you're going to lengthen and allow the back to remain back as you straighten your knees. I'll just show you that. Or would somebody like to come and I'll, I'll demonstrate? That's better. Yes, come along.